are well and welcome back to my channel and hello anyone that is new here my name is Ellis I am a mummy of two boys and this little one is the one that I'm going to be talking about today this is my baby boy Parker and I also have a three-year-old called Clayton or he's three and a half now but today I thought I would share with you all some ideas for first birthday presents now I have had two boys meaning that both of my boys have actually been able to share toys um, they're kind of very gender neutral all of the toys that I'm about to show you and all of the ideas I'm about to share are gender neutral ideas you quite finished so I'm going to share with you what I actually got for him for his first birthday then because he obviously it's not long been Christmas I'm also going to share with you some of those ideas because we normally kind of spread them out throughout the year and then I'm also going to share with you some of the things that I got Clayton for his first birthday and Christmas as well because a lot of those toys are still going strong so I didn't actually get Parker much for his birthday but instead he's been reusing a lot of Clayton's toys so I'm going to jump straight in. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you are some of the bigger present ideas that we got for Parker and some of the kind of bigger things that he could keep that will be a little bit more long lasting but cost a little bit more money. Um, there are only two items out of these ideas that actually cost a little bit more money. All the rest are kind of your general budget ideas. However, first things first is this. Now I am absolutely in love with this. This is a little rocking horse. Let me see if Parker wants to go on it. Should we go Whee! You just want to get off and play, don't you? Got me. I've actually got the majority of the presents stashed in a pile over there, so he actually wants to go and play with them all. What you doing? But the first thing that we got him was this rocking horse. I'll give you a little close-up, but it's absolutely stunning. It's grey and white, meaning that it can kind of go really, really nicely in the living room because Parker's bedroom is quite small, and I'm not one of these people that says no to toys. Um, as much as, yes, my home is... I like to think quite nice. I am mum and I'm not gonna let my kids not have any toys and yes, they will be out in the living room if I can't store them anywhere else. So I wanna make them blend in as nice as possible and I think this is just adorable. This little grey elephant is so lovely. It was from my first years and it cost, I wanna say a hundred pounds, but I will leave all the prices and the items linked below for you so you can go and check them out. Are you quite finished? I'm trying to turn off as many of the toys as possible so they're not going to keep interfering in this video but yeah and it is stunning so I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a piece that your children can keep for Clayton's birthday I got him a personalized toy box which I've recently done over and done up and he got like bigger things like I think I got him a trike and he had like a little Audi as well like a little push along Audi but we've managed to keep all of those bits so I didn't need anything like this so I thought this would be something great for in the home so the next thing that I'm going to move on to is this ball pit here and I absolutely love this. Again, it's gender neutral. It fits in with our living room so, so well and it is so, so stylish for a present. Now, I remember wanting to get one of these items for Clayton, for Clayton's first birthday and I just remember it not being something that I could physically fit into my budget. Clayton's birthday falls over Christmas so when it may look as though he's got quite a few items, it was because... Obviously, he kind of waited all year for a birthday, and then I spread his Christmas and birthday items out. Because there's only a week between his birthday and Christmas, I spread them out throughout the year. So he's always got new things coming instead of giving them to him in one go. So, because of that, I wasn't going to spend the money on this because I wanted, they were quite new, and I think they were like over £100. And I wasn't going to spend the money on it, but I thought for Parker, because I wasn't getting him anything else, I didn't get him really much for Christmas at all because again he has so much from Clayton um this was something that I was going to splurge out on and I managed to find a company that did it for like a hundred pounds and I was like perfect I've saved quite a bit of money and then I was looking on Amazon one day looking at some other items for Clay uh, for Parker and I found this on Amazon I think it was for 55 pounds I think it was 55 pounds and then 10 pounds delivery so in total it was 65 pounds now in that you got loads of different choices of colours of balls, you could have them with pink and blue and blacks and you can also buy additional balls afterwards if you want more. So I decided to go for the basic amount because Parker has just begun to love going into ball pits. He was kind of a little bit behind in his development in comparison to Clayton and so he has just really begun to love this and he is obsessed. Not only is this a ball pit but at the end of the day I store all of Parker's toys in here to keep them separate from Clayton's because Clayton's got a gazillion toys so I keep Parker's little ones in here and it's kind of like a little play den for him he kind of goes in there with all of his favorite toys and we'll just sit there for ages and play this was so reasonably priced the fabric literally zips off at the bottom 
meaning it's really really easy to wash if it gets dirty it's so so well made it arrived a really reasonable size and I got the 150 ball option which is the lowest option you could get and I feel like this has been a perfect number I feel like if I'd had any more Parker wouldn't have been able to sit up in it very well obviously he's just beginning to learn how to do all that stuff and I think he would have really struggled so as he gets bigger I definitely will add more balls but the basic option of 150 balls was definitely fab and that's all I needed and for £55 or 65 including post and packaging this would make an absolutely amazing present. Moving on, the next item that I got was more of a personalised present and it is this. It is a chalkboard. Now, I don't know how well you can see it, so I'll try and do a close-up of it. But basically, I got one of these for Clayton in the typical chalkboard print. But I got this one for Parker so that it would go more in line with the theme of his bedroom. And Clayton's one went in with the theme of his bedroom and his nursery at the time. But it is so adorable. It has his name on it and it's basically a chalkboard with all of his firsts and things that he can do. And I feel like these are a great way to remember what your kids can do and a lot of people can try and make them themselves but I'm not very good when it comes to drawing and decorating and stuff like that so I get someone else to make them for me both times I've done it through Etsy I've gone online I found an Etsy design that I like I actually had this one completely custom made because Parker's bedroom has hot air balloon themes and it's in this mint grey and white colour for his bedroom so I had this personally made to match and it literally just has his first 30, how tall he is, what he weighs, what he can do. So it says he can say, Mama, Dada, Hiya, Nah. <laughs> um, he can sit up, crawl, climb, kiss, cuddle, wave, bounce super high and clap. It says how many teeth he has, what his favourite game is, his nickname, his birth details and things that he loves. Such as being spun in the air, FaceTiming Daddy, tickling. Um, knocking the fireplace stones off and splashing in the bath and lots of other bits and I think they are a great present. I literally, um, like I said, I went online, I ordered it for this lady, it cost £11 for the actual print. <laughs> It cost me a pound to go and get it printed at a print shop and I think it cost me a further three or four pounds from B&M for the frame, which I did myself. It is a really, really cheap and effective way to do it and I absolutely love it. Then the next thing that I got are some really, really basic things. The next thing that I got was this. It is a, I think they're Jojo, what is this? I think this is a Jelly Cat one. It says Jolly Baby, but I'm pretty sure it was like a Jelly Cat range, but it's basically like a crinkly, sensory book i absolutely love these i think they're great they have lots of different things that kind of come off them with different things and it's like a storybook which you can read with your child but they are so so colorful they are perfect for sensory and for new babies i um, had one of these for clayton when he was a lot younger but again parker's kind of a little bit laid back and later in his development but i thought this would be a great thing to have for him now to attach to the pram and for him to do you can definitely get these earlier than one, um, but I think this is a great little present. And I think this was around £10, which is a little bit more expensive for a book like this, but it does have more colours and more sensory bits, which is why I loved it so much. And again, I just got this from Amazon. So super cheap, super quick. It arrived great. And one of the last toys that Parker got for his birthday or kind of that sort of niche as such was the Osborne books. Now, I love these books. I have always had the That's Not My book range and Clayton has so many left over. So Parker has so many, but I wanted to get him one new one. So I got That's Not My Dinosaur. They are all sensory books. So again, they have lots of touchy-feely things and Parker will literally just sit down and fill all of these themselves and then I will read with him with them. But we have so many. I think we've got That's Not My Robot, Tiger, Tractor, there are so many they are super cheap again only a couple of pounds off of amazon so if you're looking for some books these are so long lasting and hard wearing like i said we have so many from Clayton, so i would definitely recommend them now again this is a bit of a different one and i haven't actually got it down here to show you um but we actually decided to get no no um for Clayton for Nana. his first birthday we got him a football kit which was a manchester united one which is who adam supports um, and for Parker's one, we were looking for the Manchester United kit, but I think because they're changing, okay, I'm no football expert, because they're changing their kit, I think it's coming to the end of it, we couldn't get it in Parker's size. So we thought, well, he is, his birthday is going to be in amongst the World Cup, so we actually got him an England kit. I will obviously insert a screenshot of what it looks like. Ah, 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 let go. I'll insert a screenshot of what it looks like but we always have their names put on and then the number one to symbolise their first birthday and they are so adorable and such a lovely keepsake so I really do like getting them and then moving on I'm going to show you some of the bits that we got for Parker for Christmas 
Now, again, these have been kind of been spread out. So over the last six months, he's gradually been given these as like a new toy to kind of keep him entertained here, then and everywhere. Parker. Actually, I almost forgot. There is one more tie that we got for Parker for his birthday. And it is this. It is a little mini beat bow and it comes on. What is he? Um, and it's just a little mini beat bop. Now, for Christmas, we actually got Parker. Ooh. We actually got Parker, the bigger one. And I remember wanting to get this one for Clayton. But again, they were so expensive and we'd already got him so much. So I never actually got him one. But this has been one of Parker's favourite presents since we got it for him for Christmas. So I actually went out and got the little mini one because I thought he would love to carry this around with him when we go out. And he absolutely loves it. This one was around £10. This is the one we got for his birthday. And I think this one was around £30. Keeps going for the tripod. Um, and this one was around £30, but they absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a present and you don't have these, I would 100 recommend them. You can do voice control, they do music, numbers, they really keep them entertained. So as Parker has set this one off and I've just had to turn it off, I'll grab this one. So this is one of the next ones that again, I got Parker for Christmas and it is a little Teletubby. And this was great for encouraging him to move and be a bit more on the move, but also just to kind of keep him entertained. It's a little Teletubby and again, it plays music, it lights up, it's sensory related and it's kind of got this rolling ball. So it kind of rocks and moves on the floor as well, which is great. Again, this wasn't very expensive, so I would definitely recommend something like this. So the next thing we got Parker for Christmas was this. It is a light up musical nursery rhyme book and it has things different nursery rhymes. Now I would definitely recommend this. We had one for Clayton, which is this one here and it's just like a VTech Humpty Dumpty one. This is VTech as well, but it's just a bit newer and a bit brighter as you can probably see. The colors are very dulled down on the old one now. It does still work, but I thought something a bit brighter would be good. Um, again, these are really cheap. I believe they're under 10 pounds. I will try and link everything below for you this is another great thing you can read to them and it's kind of really sensory based so it's really engaging for them and you love this one didn't you now we're gonna put them in here the next thing that i got was this i can't remember what this is called it's by chad valley and it's like a little wiggly thing and basically it shakes parker really loves this but it runs out of batteries super super quickly again we got this for him for christmas it is definitely a great present idea if you're looking for something it definitely keeps the kids entertained and i remember having one of these when i was a baby and seeing the videos super super cute so these are good the next thing i wanted to show you again um, i have a selection of them that we've just kind of bought over time for clayton they're phones and keys and things like that just anything that imitate what you have got none of these are new we didn't actually get any of these for christmas for parker because we had so many left but they all make slightly different noises and Parker absolutely loves them. I would definitely recommend you buying them because kids love to have what you've got. They always want your phone and your keys and things like that. So these are really, really great alternatives and both my boys have loved using these. They've been so well used and looked after. So I would definitely recommend these. Again, they're really super cheap presents. They're great for like little added extras that you want to kind of bulk up your presents with. And the next thing I want to show you are these. Now my mother-in-law actually got these for Parker for Christmas. Again, they were super cheap and Parker loves them. This one makes a funny noise like that. And this one has a rattle to it. Do you want it? And Parker absolutely loves them. Again, anything that's noise based. <laughs> again anything that's noise based or kind of sensory and has that sort of tone to it is always great um, so little things like this again are fab and I actually have this one here too that we had from Clayton Clayton's got a couple of these from a music set which again is another great idea for first birthday presents so this is another present that I would recommend again this has been from Clayton and it is a, like a Fisher Price I think it's like a cookie jar and the cookie jar basically sings I have way too many toys going off around me. What is making a noise? Yeah, so this is basically a cookie jar. It comes with a lid that you can take on and off. And inside are these kind of shapes with numbers on. And you literally just pop them inside the holes. So it's a great way for children to begin to learn their shapes and their development. And they just pop in. The cookie jar sings, which again is great for a sensory based toy. And Clayton absolutely loved this. He still loves this now because he loves putting things backwards and forwards. 
and even though Parker hasn't got the hang of obviously the shape part yet because he's still too young he definitely loves putting the items in and we'll put them in and take them out which he really really loves again this is another toy that Clayton had for his first birthday or well, actually I think I got it for him for the Easter because it was kind of egg related but he has absolutely loved it and it is the Tommy eggs they're like the squeaky ones they look like this we are missing a couple of the tops they are lying around somewhere because they did a big clear out but Clayton still plays with these loads but again these are literally like little sorty toys they they squeak, they push down, they have different shapes, different faces. They were really great when I was trying to get Clayton to learn different emotions and things like that, like happy, sad, and angry. Also, he learned the shapes really well. And again, they've got sorting things. So at the bottom of them, they've kind of got little holes. I think, again, these are really cheap. They're under £10, I'm sure. I'm sure they're around six, seven pounds, but I can't remember because I got them quite a while ago. But again, as you can see, they are so long lasting. So I would definitely recommend these for another present idea for your one year old. The next toy that I want to show you quickly is one that Parker's playing with, so I'm gonna be quick, but it's these stacking rings. Again, these came in a big set that I think I got from Early Learning Center a couple of years ago. They came with, I believe, the stacking cups, which I also wanted to show you. But basically, the rings just stack. They're different colors, they're gray. Ah, ah, ah. And again, the stacking cups, there's lots of different cups that you just stack. They've got numbers on, so they were great for teaching numbers. You can stack them different ways, hire things under them, and learn your colors. So they are very, very durable, long lasting. All of these items are over three years old, so definitely recommend them. I promise I'm coming down to the final bits now, but something else I wanted to show you were these. Now we have two of these. This is the one that Clayton used to have, and this is the new one that I got for Parker for Christmas, because this one's a bit bashed and bruised. Um, but this one used to sing, make noises, do colors, and I believe they do still sell it, but I'm not too sure. Um, but this was the new one that basically does exactly the same. You press its tummy, it tells you the colors. You can do ABC numbers singing there's different stages i believe this is a smart one as well so i believe you can actually connect it to your phone as well and have it say your name and things like that but again this is something that parker loves because it's snuggly it's soft he loves soft toys but obviously he can also interact with it i'm gonna be quick with this one because he's seen me pick it up and now i think he's after it but this one is a little kind of poppy uppy thing basically you twist the things and do different things and they all pop up Again, this was a great toy. We've had this one since Clayton. It's a bit battered and bruised now, but I'm gonna try and give it a clean up. Again, this has been used very, very well. It was a great way. I love multifunctional toys that kids love to play with. So they love it because of the noises and they can slap it about. But you can also learn your colors, your animals, and not only that, your numbers as well. It's got a little handle, which is why it's so bashed, I think, because Clayton used to carry it around quite a bit. But again, I absolutely love that toy. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I know there will be kind of equivalent ones on the market. But if I can find it, I will try and link that below for you as well. We are coming to the very end of all the items that I want to suggest to you for good sensory toys and items for a first birthday. So the next thing that I've got is this. It's called a, it's a little tie. I'm not quite sure what it's called actually but it's like I think it might be twist and go but that could be another toy basically you pop down on this and the harder you push and the more you press it the more it spins and then these little beads run around inside the kids love bashing this and obviously making as much noise as possible which is typical for kids I love this thing it's a great a great little present that the children always love so I would definitely recommend these and again really really super cheap now the next thing I want to show you is this now I actually bought this for Clayton for I think for his second birthday and then my mother-in-law bought another one for Clayton for Christmas so now the boys have one each and I actually think this would be a great first birthday present like I said I bought so many items for his first birthday that I didn't really need to buy anymore so basically it's a microphone Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> which Parker absolutely loves. And when you bash it, it makes lots of noise too. I think these are like four or five pounds. So again, super cheap. Early learning center is where they are from. Ah, ah, ah. Mustn't touch the tripod. They're from Early Learning Centre. They're about four or five pounds, but they're great because again, they make noise. And I've really found that they've kind of encouraged Parker to find his voice a little bit because he was a little bit quieter until recently. And I really feel like shouting into this. He kind of really likes doing it because he gets a noise back. Boop, ba -da boop. Yeah. He's ignoring me now. Oh, you are hearing me. Yeah. 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 What is it? Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. Come on then. <laughs> but that's that 
toy. And again, really durable. We now have two of them. The next toy I want to show you is this. It is a little sensory toy. I think this is quite expensive for what it is. I think it was around 20 pounds or so. It was from Early Learning Center, but I loved that it had so many different sensory bits on it. You've got things that you can spin, that shake, that you can move, that really encourages their sensory development and their hand-eye coordination. It was multicolored. There's so many different bits to it. You can kind of turn it around and it's a great toy for when they're younger and they're just starting to sit up and they're maybe not on the move. Um, and even when they are on the move, they can kind of bring it with them because you can kind of just plonk it down in whatever direction you want and it will just stay there, which is fab. I should have probably mentioned this earlier with the whole maraca thing, but another one of these is the thing that I love. We got this as a stocking filler for Parker at Christmas, and we actually ended up getting two of these. And I mean, who doesn't love toys that make noise? Hey! Parker loves these because they make so much noise. It's got a cute little bear design on, and again, a couple of pounds. I think this one's from Amazon, so super, super cheap again. And my very last item that I want to show you, I know I've been here a while, but the very last item that I want to show you is this. Again, it kind of goes back to the whole technology thing, but it's a little mini computer. You lift it up, it's a teddy bear. It has numbers, colors, a little mini mouse that you can jiggle around, and it makes loads of noise, which Parker absolutely loves. Again, this wasn't very expensive, and I get a lot of my toys and presents and things like that for Christmas and birthdays, all in kind of the sale before. So Christmas time is a great time for shopping for midget birthdays. Summer is great for shopping for Christmas presents and vice versa. So guys, I hope this video has helped give you some ideas of what you could get a child for their first birthday or some Christmas ideas or something like that. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again for more videos shortly. Bye guys. Oh, yeah.